last week I've shared with you the design process of this sales page. We're doing a summer sale at the new school and I've designed a sales page in Sketch, created a cool animated GIF that I've also shared with you how I did it. And today I have to take this design and move it into Webflow, develop it so we can get it on the air and start doing the sale. A lot of you guys have been asking about the process of how I take my sketch designs and develop them in Webflow, so I'm gonna be covering this today. The process is basically very simple. The first step is to export all the images that I have here that I will need for my design. Basically in this page it's just the logos that we have here and the images, the profile images and this kind of a badge. This animated GIF I've already exported and I've shared with you uh, last week how I've created it. And then I will go and recreate this in Webflow. But the thing I need to consider when I'm building it in Webflow is how to structure this. And I'm already trying to imagine how this will look on mobile. So this is, for example, you can see it's two columns. I have to build this in two columns so this can go on top of this in mobile. This is going to be six columns so it can be one on top of the other and this is three column. It was helpful that I've designed this on the, oh, this is not the grid, but basically I've designed this on a 12 um, columns grid so it's going to be super simple to use the columns uh, widget in Webflow. Here in Webflow I have the columns widget so when I drag that I can choose how many columns I want and this will help me create a good responsive website. Let's start doing it. So one more thing I use the sketch design for is for references for the size and type of typography and the distances between elements. So for example, uh, as you can see, I've created two columns here and the logo just like in in here and I want to know what's the distance between uh, the logo and for example the edge or the logo and the title so I can see here the distance and then I can just go to the web flow and make sure that the distance here between the element is just as much as I need it. So it is now three hours later and the design of the page is basically it's completed and I've also added this kind of a parallax effect here like the content is sliding over the title. I never did that in Webflow so I wanted to try that today and it was pretty easy to do. And so basically it's over. The only thing that's uh, left to do is to make this responsive. It's I don't think it'll take more than 30 minutes, but I gotta head out to lunch right now. My friend Omar has a birthday today, so I had a little celebration and uh, it won't be easy going back to work after this. So as expected it took me about 20 minutes to make the website responsive which I think is pretty great. If I had to code this I think it would take me much much longer um, and it looks super cool on mobile. Only thing I have left to do is uh, shoot the video, the sales video that's in the page, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. Maybe drinking at lunch wasn't such a great idea. So that's all for today, guys. I feel I've been pretty productive and I deserve a little nap, so I will catch you guys tomorrow.